First on Fox tonight, what started out as a day of giving back ended with several hundred dollars missing from a local nonprofit. Now, thousands of families donated to total uh, nearly $1.5 million to local charities in just 24 hours through a campaign called the Big Payback. But the charity, Julie's Village, says it got shortchanged when a volunteer, a volunteer, pocketed donations. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez live in East Nashville tonight with this story. How unfortunate, Eric. And it is right, Scott Stacy. Now, families here in East Nashville saw signs like these here around these neighborhoods over the last two days. Now, these signs were supposed to draw in donations for Julie's Village, but tonight that organization's founder says this yard sale also drew in a mysterious stranger that took off with their money. It all started with a Craigslist ad asking for volunteers and a response from a total stranger with a sympathetic story. Told us about her children, about and they're physically challenged and that she had lost one. That story struck a chord with Julie Hamilton, who founded Julie's Village to help new mothers who have trouble breastfeeding their babies. I suffered greatly um, trying to nurse my twins, and so I founded the organization so that other moms would not go through what I did. The yard sale went on without a hitch, bringing in hundreds of dollars. At least, that's how it seemed. Towards the close of the yard sale, we decided to count our money, and we realized that our cash was gone. And the only thing we had left was our change. More than $200 missing, and the volunteer they'd just met that day left without saying goodbye. That's when the red flags came into focus. She kept doing things around the money bag, but when she called, it was a blocked number. But Hamilton says a few hundred dollars wasn't worth threatening the massive donation drive that was sweeping Middle Tennessee. We discussed filing a police report, um, but we, did, we were afraid that it would affect the big payback. The big payback brought in close to $1.5 million for more than 500 charities in just 24 hours. Hamilton says one bad act doesn't dim the overwhelming support from mid-state families. Middle Tennessee um, has high rate of volunteerism and generosity, and then seeing that yesterday, was that was awesome. Now, despite what happened, Julie's Village brought in more than $5,600 in donations yesterday. Now, friends also set up an online donation page to help Julie's Village recover from the money they lost. Now, if you'd like to pitch in, you can either follow me on Twitter at Fox17Eric or you can go to Fox17.com. Reporting live in East Nashville, Eric Alvarez, Fox17 News.